Hey, what's going on, everybody? I just want to showcase a quick and small video um, to discuss a little bit of something that came out in a recent Zero Daily newsletter. Um, uh, an article that they had mentioned something extraneous was um, a Unicode analyzer and, and stuff on zero width spaces um, by a tweet on Swift on Security. Um, and I thought this was super cool because I had seen it recently in the MITRE CTF that I had played recently, their, their Capture the Flag competition. I don't want to just straight, like, rip her content here, so I don't really mean to, but I do want to parse through it with you. So, she explains that recently she had posted a tweet earlier, uh, Fast.com noted, and she had explained, like, yeah, this, this URL, Fast.com, doesn't turn into a link like Twitter would normally have it do. Um, and that's because she did something clever with it. So if I go to this original link here, just to see this this, this tweet, this Fast.com would normally, as she explains later on, uh, the second tweet, be displayed uh, with a, kind of a thumbnail and a description and just that, just that sample of what the website is. Um, so if I actually showcase this to you within idle, um, and I use that as like my default Python Explorer. Um, I'm just going to put this in a string. L at least initially I'll just paste it in. Because you'll see that, hey, there is a space or some garbage that was just in this. And that wasn't originally when we had read it, at least on the browser and in Twitter. If I put this in a string and I let Python try and interpret it, you can see the word fast and the word dot com. But there are clearly some other bytes in here that are being weird and uh, are kind of hiding. Uh, but it just looks like a space, at least an idle. However, it's just... Um, nothing, or at least seemingly nothing, while it's rendered on this web browser. So, this is what she goes on to explain, that this is a Unicode character for a zero-width space. And she explains this uh, uh, Unicode analyzer online, fontspace.com, and you can explore it there if you really wanted to, but it sh explains that this is a zero-width space. It's a Unicode character that doesn't have any width, but still is a space. It takes up a... a it is it is a character. Um, she goes to explore it within the uh, Windows utility in Word, just to show uh, showcase the character map, and you can find that Unicode key, I think it's 200B, or Bravo, um, and you can use it later on and later on. In fact, if I pull idle back up, and I just take this, this uh, space key here, or if I copy and paste that block that is the zero key space, I'll put this in the Google browser up here in the corner, and I'll keep pasting. I'll, I'm holding down Control-V right now. So I'll select all that, and I'll go down here, back to idle, and I can highlight all this. This just looks like nonsense. It looks like there's nothing really there, but it is just that Unicode character, the zero with space. So... I thought this was super cool because I wanted to showcase this kind of used for evil or used for something else. Uh, again, I don't want to. I don't want to just kind of rip on on Swift on security's content. But she explains like, hey, this could maybe be used nefariously. So I want to show you what happened when I was uh, playing in the MITRE CTF. Um, MITRE CTF two ten. So I'm going to try and get to the content that we are at right now. Um, I'll speed this up a little bit so I can show you. Because right now on the left-hand side, I'm looking at the source code. On the right, I try to just whip out some Python code to be able to get the web page and see if I can view it um, a little bit differently. Because you can see a bunch of zeros here um, on the left-hand side that is the challenge prompt. Um, the challenge was titled uh, challenge.find55, just being that index, the description and length greater than or equal to 374. So that was kind of a pointer, at least to me or the player or the end user, was that, um, yeah, there are 374 zeros here, but it's considered greater than that because there are other things in here. There were zero width spaces that I while I was going through this process, didn't even realize and even, didn't even know. So for a while, I tried to go through some crazy things with Python requests, like to try and download a raw form, see if I can get like Unicode characters out of it, when I didn't realize that I was already dealing with this stuff in my clipboard. Like I, I had pasted it into idle earlier, and I had the exact same kind of characters popping up. There were like weird uh, Unicode things and spaces in between all the zeros. Uh, I want to get to a point in the video where I show you this. I'll try and skip around here. This is me trying to download it in the raw form, and it just looks like garbage. I don't, I don't know where my head was at, but you know that's how it is for a capture the flag game. Okay, so here I am in idle. Just a moment back here. I copy this, I open it in idle, and you can see just then, right up in the above, right up above there, I paste them all in, and it's all the zeros with spaces and what looks like pipes here or other random Unicode characters. So this is weird, right? 
We'll slow this down. And at that point, I notice, wow, these are all these random bytes. So what does I what I do is I put these in Sublime Text, and I try and make a distinction as to which are the real zeros and which are the characters that are either that kind of pipe stick looking like thing or which are that fake zero with character space. Um, let's speed through this because what I start to think is that this is actually a steganography problem where one of those zero with spaces must at least maybe the zero with spaces go away but all of the things that look like pipes are trying to refer to a one or a zero, so maybe the character set that I'm looking at is a zero and a one, and maybe it's trying to tell me something in binary. I thought that would be the hidden message that I would be trying to decipher from this challenge. Um, this was in the cryptography section of the MITRE CTF game, but nonetheless, I, I started to do it in Python, and I just kind of bailed and put it back into ASCII.hex. <laughs> so, silly me. Um, I realized I didn't get anything, so what I did was I switched the zeros and ones. It was going to be a 50% chance uh, whether I got it right. Okay, are the ones in the right place or are the zeros in the right place? If not, I would flip them. And the way that I do that is I replace one of the values with a temporary value, just a pipe in this case, so I can replace all the ones back to zero, and then I can replace all the pipes back to one. And I do this quickly here. So now, when I paste this into ASCII2Hex.com, I get the flag, MITRE CTF uh, Academy, MITRE Cyber Academy, and the flag is watch your clipboard, and I thought that was fantastic. So I, you wouldn't have known that those are zero with characters had you not explored your clipboard, had I looked at them in a Unicode analyzer like Swift was saying in, her, in that tweet, or at least pasted them in idle. I thought it was weird that it had those, those strange characters. So a cool thing to note, wanted to show it to you guys, zero width characters, they are totally a thing, um, and make sure to double check whatever's in your clipboard, or there, maybe if you're suspicious about something, uh, maybe an idle, or a Unicode analyzer. So totally keep track of that if you n have any notion of Unicode characters. Cool. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, really simple stuff. I really wanted to just kind of showcase it because it was something similar in the news. Seeing it on Zero Daily was kind of neat. And I wanted to bring out a show, uh, shout out to another individual's content and uh, still showcase some of my own. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in a later video.